I actually started playing hockey because my dad played growing up and uh, you know he loved it growing up, played through juniors and then uh, didn't play in college or anything but uh, when my brother and I were born you know he really wanted to get us into it and uh, I think I was about two or three in the oldest home video we have and uh, I could already skate and skate pretty well and uh, I was playing on my brother's team, he was like four or five at the time and uh, it, it's pretty fun, you know, me and him growing up had a lot of fun, my brother and I playing and, uh, you know, always being around the rinks, always being on road trips with my family. And, uh, you know, those are some of the best memories I have. Uh, well, I grew up playing in Atlanta. I played on travel teams there uh, until I was in high school. And then I went to Culver Military Academy. Uh, it's a prep school in Indiana. And uh, I think that's where I really started to take off as a player and, you know, I realized that I had a talent and probably could go somewhere with this. And uh, from there I went to the U.S. program and played two years there. Uh, probably the most influential year, years of my hockey career, you know, made me into what I am today and uh, what kind of player I am, just as detailed and well-rounded as I am today. And uh, then from there I went to BU for two years, uh, did a year back in Dubuque and now I'm at Northeastern. Well, definitely the uh, atmosphere in the games is a big reason why, I, uh, you know, Northeastern was, when I was redoing colleges, uh, when I was back in the USHL, I had to re-look at colleges, and uh, Northeastern was, you know, at the top of my list because I had had so much familiarity with it, you know, I had played here many times, uh, you know, I knew it was so close to BU that uh, I knew the area, I knew I loved Boston, I loved the city, and uh, I was able to take a visit here, got to meet the team, and I knew the team was, uh, you know, older, mature, and ready to win, and that's why I wanted to come here and, you know, hopefully make an impact right away and help the team win. Trying to cut in, score, and the Huskies win in overtime, and they're all on the ice in the corner to congratulate one another. Well, I chose to come back to college because I wanted to give myself as many years as possible to, uh, you know, develop and just make sure that when I'm ready to go pro, I'm, I'm as ready as I can be so that I can make the jump and be comfortable with it. And, you know, of course, there's an excitement about college hockey that you don't get anywhere else. You know, you create such a bond with your teammates. You know, you become such a family and you don't get that in the pros. And, you know, that was something that I really cherished and wanted to have again. I mean, I've definitely gotten the chance to play, you know, in a ton of buildings, you know, a ton of different cities, traveled all over, and this building's probably the loudest. When it's uh, when the fans are here, when the doghouse has a good support, I mean, it is insane. Just, you know, the building is so old, the sound just resonates in here so well, and, you know, with them being on top of us, you know, raised up above the, above the glass, you can literally hear anything they say right out of the doghouse, and that just creates such a fun atmosphere, and I think it just kind of sums up, you know, why I love college hockey, you know, going into hostile fans and going into fans that are on top of you and, you know, these different buildings that aren't built like NHL stadiums, and, uh, you know, it just gives such a great atmosphere. I'd say I like to play BU and BC the most just because, uh, you know, the speed and the talent is always fun. You know, I like those type of games. They're really fast, you know, really exciting. And, uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to have, to have friends on the team, you know, really good friends. And, you know, that makes the game really fun when you're playing and competing against your friends. And, you know, we're able to call each other afterwards and, like, laugh about stuff. And, uh, you know, both of those buildings are really nice, too. You know, they get pretty uh, good crowds and... Uh, they're, you know, they're just really nice facilities to be in. I'd actually like to say myself, you know, I'm pretty lighthearted, uh, pretty easygoing, so I like to keep it uh, pretty casual. Uh, Braden Pym is a riot, you know, he, he's a clown, like he's always goofing off. Um, Bennis Grobe is a pretty funny guy, and uh, 
Zach Stone can do a ton of uh, impressions that will make you cry every time.